Hello, welcome to the Chris Museum. My name is Ellen. We are going to take a look at some Mississippian pre-Columbian pottery. There is a new collection that has been accepted by the museum, which was donated by Paul and Geneva Corbin. The pieces themselves are authentically made from local clay. The pieces came from Southeast Missouri region and they are pre-Columbian in the Mississippian era. The Crisp Museum has controls and monitors in place to maintain temperature controlled environment, which is the best case for maintaining authentic irreplaceable artifacts like this collection. We will be taking a look today at some work being done by an intern student who is going to create some condition reports. This cabinet, this cabinet, these two cabinets, this is core. Okay. And so what, since we put these on display first, they get the first set of numbers, lowest numbers. My name is Jared Anderson. I am a second year graduate student here at Southeast Missouri State University in the public history program with an emphasis in historic preservation. And I am here doing a condition report for some of the uh, Mississippian era Native American pottery that we have here at the Chris Museum. We can see finger indentations in the bottom of this bowl. Finely crumbled pieces of shell were added to the clay, a practice known as tempering. Tempering helps prevent shrinkage and cracking during the drying and firing of pottery. The pot was formed by what is called coiling. The coils are wrapped into the shape of the bowl and then are smoothed on the sides. Basically, this is if there are any problems in the condition of the artifact. Uh, what we just looked at was in pretty excellent condition. If there's any um, holes, if there's any chips, if there's any cracks, then we can denote that. And then on the flip side, you'll go ahead and make a rough sketch and you'll show where the, the issues are. Sometimes when collections are acquired by museums, artifacts already come with a numbering system in place. However, the museum will renumber the artifacts with an accession number. The pen used for numbering is a pen touch calligrapher fine point marker. This type of pen is best used on non-porous artifacts where the ink will not soak in and stain the object. All right, so we have um, what I assume uh, this 2016 means that it was acquired in um, the museum collection. The 01 um, so it's 2016, period 01, 
1901 stands for that should have been the first collection of that year acquired here at the museum. Then you have another period, and then it's the tenth in the collection, so 0010, which is denoting that it is the tenth object that we've put in. When artifacts are displayed in the museum, labels are created and they show the accession number, the donor name, and sometimes a short description.